Johanna Cook here from Mama Cuisine. Thanks for tuning in. I am here, I mean, does this guy need even an introduction? Look at this face. You guys already know who I'm sitting down with, Chef Ming Tsai. He's in Chicago. We are at Slurping Turtle right now and he is going around and there's a book signing happening right now with his new book, Simply Ming in Your Kitchen. Thank you so much for sitting down oh, with us please today. Please you <laughs> Now, okay, well, I have been watching you since. Don't t don't say no, since you were two since, years old. No, no, not I've been watching since I was three not years old. Too, but not since, that old. No, no, but he was one of the first. I mean, Food Network just started, and you kind of started with them. Yeah, yeah. And really, many years ago. Yes, many many years ago, and you really, you're the modern day Martin Yan, I think, for the generation. I'll, I would, I'll take that. Take Martin, that. Martin's a great friend, and. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, I think Martin's more my father's generation, yeah. so I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty accurate. It is pretty accurate. And East, East, East? Meets meet West. West. I'm getting Easy for you to say. East, East, East meets East West. Meets West. Was the first show. Very first show. Yes. And now you have become like the godfather of Asian cooking. Of course, East meets West, showing us here in the West how to create great. Yes. Asian meals at home. Well, the new show, well, not new, it's yeah. 10 years old, 10 years Simply, old. Simply, Simply Ming. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, but you're holding this book here, this yes. is Simply Ming in your kitchen. Yes. And it's my fifth book, so go get it, send my kids to college. <laughs> um, but I'm very excited about it, because it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's the first book of its kind, first cookbook of its yes. kind. It's 80 photos, 80 recipes. Mm -hmm. That's normal, that's yes. my last cookbook. Right. Uh, and the recipes are simple to do, every, every recipe, is one page only with a little head note and then the picture. I'm actually making this right now. I'm going to make this in two minutes. Oh, uh, no, in, in two hours at Takashi's, one of the courses. Yeah. We're doing a six course tasting there. Um, here's my version of Wing. But what this book has is a QR code. Every recipe has a QR code. Mm -hmm. So with your smartphone, you scan it. And once you sign up one time through something called Zip List, you scan it, the shopping list is downloaded to your phone. Yeah. So now you can forward the shopping list to your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever, they can shop for you, or you just have it with you because you probably won't bring your book to Whole Foods, right? right? So you have the shopping list. So that, again, trying to get people to cook more easily, more simply. So this is this is a, this is a aid to help that. In addition, um, I always do my own food styling. So I cook my own food for the book. So I decided this year, why don't I sh videotape, shoot me doing it. Yeah. So I did. So now I have 80 full length videos, start to finish. Mm -hmm. uh, we edited them, they're 10 to 12 minutes each. And a lot of it's real time cooking because the recipes literally do just take you know 10 minutes, yes. 12 minutes. It's searing the scalp, making awesome. a salad, put it together. Right. Some you have to braise for an hour and a half. So we, you know, we do what's called swipe. So we right. come back and right. then look after I have the chicken stutter. Right. Um, well, yeah, but the <laughs> idea is to actually create a new revenue stream for cookbooks because between the iPad and the tablets and video and cookbooks and the Nook and everything, it's all becoming one medium. And uh, we originally thought, well, let's do the 80, 80 videos and offer for free. Mm -hmm. But then, smartly, I think, I said, well, look, frequent flyer miles started with the airlines and almost bankrupted then. Because once you offer it for free, you can't, you can't, you can't start charging next year. Yeah. So I'm like, no, let's do, let's do a compromise. The first two chapters, oh, sorry, the first two recipes of each chapter, eight chapters, the video is free. So come through Ming.com, you sign up, you can see the first two, let's say poultry, right. in the poultry game chapter. Right. You can see the first two videos for free, start to finish, right. and that should hopefully entice you. Then if you want to make a third or fourth recipe right. in that same chapter, you'll pay 99 cents, which I think I'm worth, <laughs> um, to see me start to finish make that dish. Right. But it's a great teaching aid, and I use this, there's a great, the beginning of the book has what we call platters, it's entertaining, right. and there's a whole sushi, um, chat, a whole sushi recipe, how to do a sushi party. But I don't care how smart you are to articulate yeah. how you roll sushi you and you bring in that, it it's impossible to write. More specific. You know, a picture's a thousand words, you, can do, you could do 20 pictures, but a video is a million words. It explains it. So, so we're excited about that, and, and it's only been out 12 days of the book, and we've gotten a lot of people buying videos already, so. I love that concept, because when I read up on the book and researched, I knew you were coming, and we're gonna talk about your book, obviously. It is, it brings the book to life, the cookbook and the recipes to life. Of course, we know you in the cooking show, we wanna buy the book, and I'm sure you get this a lot in Asian cooking. People feel like it's 
difficult. Yeah. And it's hard. You're you're demystifying that right off the bat. And you it's have not, over the years. It's, it's no harder than French or American or Polish cuisine. Right. Really not. You gotta chop onions. This is about what the cuisine is. You're chopping <laughs> onions or mincing right, garlic. Right. The technique actually in most classic cuisines are the same. You usually right. start with the pan with oil and butter, you add the aromatics, boom, boom, yeah. boom. It could be, it might be a piece of, you know, whatever, veal liver if it's France, or here it might be chopped up chicken. Right. And it may be a wok instead of a saute right. pan, but the technique is still the same. Right. And, uh, but at the end of the day, the most important thing is taste, 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 taste. Make sure it tastes, make sure you're seasoning in levels and layers. You're adding stuff and you season again, and season again, and with spoons, you taste all day long. Exactly. I was just at a cooking event where I was one of the celebrity chefs, nothing compared to this guy. Where, and, and a lot of the question and answer part was the seasoning. And it's salt and salt and pepper. Salt there and pepper. See guys, and celebrity acid. chef and just acid. And acid's acid. the other thing. See, acid is, is something that people don't realize. All Latino cuisines, Mexican cuisines, all of them use lime, lime. juice. Mm -hmm. All Asian cuisines, so go to Thailand, but mm -hmm. not that's lime juice again, mm -hmm. or or sometimes you know calamansi Calamansi, or whatever, yeah. right? mm -hmm. or something. And Chinese cuisine is vinegar. Yes. In Italy, it's vinegar, balsamic vinegar, but they use lemons too, right? Preserve lemons. That use of acid is what makes food pop. Mm -hmm. And when you use acid, especially if you're on like a sodium, low sodium diet, yes. you can take almost half of the sodium, so half the soy sauce or salt out by adding lemon juice or lime juice. It makes stuff taste. That's a great healthy eating tip. Yeah, totally. Acid's great. I mean, yeah. salmon poached by itself, Done. disgusting. Add lemon juice, <laughs> right. delicious. Bob, yes. Now, I talk about great everyday meals on my cooking show and you know, simple ingredients, basic cooking techniques, which this is exactly what your book is about. Now, for someone who wants to increase their Asian food repertoire pantry at home, what would be your five ingredient must have to start? I mean, yes. For the record, we have the whole pantry section, right? Because I, um, I think that's key, right? So yes. you can open your book, but yes. we talk about we talk about this there all it is, the time. Pantry. And the reason I think this is so key is go to a Chinatown, you have one here in Chicago, or go to a good Asian store, or yeah. not even just the Whole Foods. Yeah. Buy your organic soy sauce. Wan Jia Shan's the brand I like. So top one is our soy sauce, or tamari if you're gluten free. Tamari, so yeah. I have some type of soy. Second for me is something spicy. So sambal, mm -hmm. which I love. So la jiao, you can buy sriracha, which is good, but it tastes more garlicky. Uh, it could be your favorite hot sauce you already have, and you need something spicy. So now you have salty, which is soy sauce, um, and now you have spicy. Vinegar. So either rice vinegar mm -hmm. um, or the Chinese black vinegar. So I think you need. I've never used. Oh, it's delicious. It's it's it's, it's like the cross between balsamic meets five spice meets oh, rice vinegar. It's great. delicious. Yeah. So now you have. So now you got your tart. You got your vinegar. Yeah. Uh, you you know tarts of vinegar. You got yeah. your spicy sambal. You got sodium. Yeah. Um, sesame oil. I think is is such a great oil when used so so yes. smartly. Yes. Drizzled at the end on yes. top of stir fries. Drizzled in a little bit of soup. Mm -hmm. Not. Right. Four tablespoons of <laughs> right. fry because all you taste is sesame. sesame. It's very but when strong, used yeah. smartly, not like extra virgin. Extra virgin olive oil, you see Italian cuisine, right. it's delicious, they drizzle all over it, but it's delicious because it's fruity, it's right. light, um, it has this great a flavor. Strong. It's a much stronger flavor. Mm -hmm. um, so that would probably be my fourth. Um, if I had to choose, it's it's a toss up between oyster sauce oh, yeah. or hoisin sauce. Um, either one of those. Would either work. one of those, you know, they're different. Ho right. Hoisin sauce is what you when you do Peking duck and mushu, that's the sauce used. Oyster sauce is used quite often in stir fries. And again, same company, Wan Jia Shan. They make an organic, uh, vegan oyster sauce. It's a it's a veg it's a vegetarian oyster sauce. And they use dry shiitake mushrooms for the umami flavor. For that it's delicious. Flavor. Yeah, people ask when I make my stir fry, I did another cooking show in the summer, I made a stir fry from the farmer's market. And they were surprised that I used oyster sauce in my stir fry. I said, guys, that's the key when you're trying to make it at home and you're thinking it doesn't taste like what you did at the restaurant, it's because you didn't use oyster sauce. Now the other thing you have to have in your pantry, so if you have if you have that as a base, mm -hmm. right, obviously you need your canola oil to cook and whatnot. I think you have to have garlic, ginger, scallions. Uh, that's pantry items to me. Scallions have to be fridge maybe, but garlic, onions, and ginger that can be held dry right next. Yeah, but, and next and next to your you know next to your uh, potatoes, right? You need to have dry rice and rice noodles. So if you have all this as a base pantry, when you then do a recipe out of my book, anyone's book. You just have to go and buy the the, the protein yes. and the veg. So it's not an ordeal. I have to go down six aisles to buy the six <laughs> different things. And it's not exotic stuff. Yeah, it's not. And by the way, you, it's going to take you a long time to use that much soy yeah. sauce, right? Yeah. It's not like you have to go buy soy sauce. Not in week. my house. Yeah. <laughs> They're not in but, your house. But in general. <laughs> it's but true. It's if you true. have a, and I say this all the time about equipment, have good knives. Yeah. They don't have to be Kyocera ceramic knives, <laughs> but if they are, again, my children. 
Uh, but you need good knives, you need good cutting board because you now spent money on good knives, and you need good pots and pans. So if you have that set up and you have a good pantry, you're going to cook a lot more. And you're going to realize that, wow, this isn't so hard and I could have a TV show. I mean, so. I'm going to start my own. It's not that. How hard can it possibly be? Ta-da! TV show! Well, thank you so much for sitting down talking to us. We're so excited for you, but go out and buy Simply Ming in your kitchen. You get to see him in the book and in videos. Oh, and he's right there in your home with you, cooking with you, and teaching you how to make awesome Asian meals. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Peace and good eating.